This is the most expensive purchase I've ever made. I spent over $2,000 on today's purchase. If you've seen some of my previous videos, you may know I like investing and saving money, but I bought something totally separate from stock investment savings. But you could still see this purchase as an investment, depending upon how you look at it. In the past, I've bought cars. I once owned a $1,000 car, it was a long time ago, and it was a very old car. Not to mention, I leased a car, but the monthly payments on that car were nothing compared to the cost of this item. You see, this purchase could be seen as an investment in my channel, a way to grow my channel, work on my skills, refine my skills, share better content with you. Can you guess what it is? That's right, I'm buying a brand new MacBook Pro, and it's not just any MacBook Pro. I'll show you the exact model I'm buying, plus the additional features that I've added in. You see, today's video is going to cover me prior to purchasing the computer. It's going to cover right after I've purchased the computer, and then we're going to cover when I physically have the computer in my hand, all in one video here today. So you'll see me buy it, you'll hear my feelings, on how I feel having bought it, waiting for it, and you'll see what it's like in my hands. Such an expensive purchase. I am really excited for this purchase. As much as I worry about how much money it costs, I think it's really gonna be beneficial for me in the long run. With the current economy and with how I've moved around in the past for work, I think something that would allow me to edit on the go would be extremely beneficial, in addition to something that allowed me to work on the go. Not only is this MacBook good for traveling, it's also good for the processor, higher export times. It'll be a lot faster to edit my vlogs. Hopefully they'll be better quality and I'll be able to work on other projects. This MacBook Pro does feel like more MacBook Pro than I need right now. But I'm hoping it'll be an investment in my channel and in anything I may work on for the long term, for eight years maybe. The desktop computer that I use, and I do like it quite a bit. I got a great deal on it. You can see the computer in the description below is a good computer. That being said, I still run into challenges with it, like extremely long export times for my videos that I make. Sometimes the audio is missing when I export those videos. You may have seen some of those videos where the audio was missing. And sometimes the video will crash while I'm trying to edit it on my editing software. So the MacBook Pro will allow me to have faster processing times, better software, and take it on the go. You may be able to tell I'm a little hesitant about spending so much money, but I think getting a brand new Mac is the best way to go, and I think this will help bring about a whole new era of my channel. You may have seen I've been working on those thumbnails, titles, making them more entertaining and engaging. I'm working on some new video ideas, and this new editing software will be really beneficial to kind of put the cherry on the top. A couple other points on this purchase. You may be asking yourself, Dave, how do you afford such an expensive laptop. A couple of different things. First of all, you may know I still work full time and you can see a few of my old videos about what I do for work, my current work situation and more. Additionally, I've been trying to save more aggressively. I made a video on my first ever no buy year and for me, this item is exempt from that. The no buy year for me is about not buying things that don't provide a specific value to my YouTube channel or other side projects I'm working on. So the MacBook is good. Let's do it. So here we are on the Apple website, buying directly from Apple. I feel more comfortable buying online right now as opposed to going to stores for health and safety reasons. So you heard me say I'm not just buying any MacBook Pro, I'm buying the upper tier, the upper level of MacBook Pro. I feel this 2.0 gigahertz quad-core processor, the stronger processor, would be better for me in editing videos. It would allow me to export more rapidly. Also, you'll see it looks like it has newer RAM. I'm no expert on computers, but those things, I believe, are important. The SSD storage, I don't feel I need more of. I can just get an external hard drive and use that for additional storage. So I don't think that's worth the additional, looks like $200 investment here. So I'm moving forward with this $1,800 MacBook Pro. And you may say, David, I thought you said $2,000. We're not done. We're not done upgrading this beauty. Continuing downwards, I am going to improve that processor even more to get the i7 processor. I want this thing to be a beast, to be a monster that'll be beautiful for me as I continue to grow my channel far and beyond where we are today. 
So that takes us to 1999, and you might say, Dave, you said over 2000. That's only 1999. We're not done. We are not done because we're going to add in some editing software. Which editing software? That's a good question. Final Cut Pro is going to be a part of this bundle. Maybe I can get a bigger bundle with more of the editing applications involved. I'm definitely getting Final Cut Pro. So for now, let's just look at it from this lens. I'm going to investigate options to buy Final Cut Pro and maybe more apps. But this takes us to $2.3 thousand dollars. Are you satisfied? We're over $2,000. That is my shopping cart. So this is my shopping cart. Again, very expensive, quite pricey, but I'm envisioning it to be good. So that covers the new MacBook Pro I'm going to be buying. I'm saving the rest of the checkout process. I will go through that myself. And then I will share with you my thoughts, my feelings, having made such an expensive purchase and how I'm looking forward to this device. So I just purchased my MacBook Pro. That is a huge purchase right there for me. I'm comparing this purchase, this investment, to buying my $700 desktop here. I got it for Black Friday one year, an amazing deal. This just seems so expensive in comparison. And I thought about buying a Windows laptop, but I feel like this machine will take me so far in terms of editing software. It will last for so much longer. I'm hopeful that it works out extremely well for me, but it's just a huge feeling in terms of expense, and I'm hoping that it really helps us move the ball forward. We'll continue this adventure when I get the MacBook Pro. It's going to take about two weeks and you'll see me back. Might be wearing a different shirt. Two weeks from today, this video will resume. But to you, it'll seem like now. The moment you've been waiting for, the 13-inch MacBook Pro, the best MacBook Pro of the 13-inch class with upgraded CPU. So I have so many features in there, in addition to software for editing and creating the best quality videos for you. It only took me about a week I want to say to get this machine, whereas the prediction from Apple was about two weeks. So fortunately, it took a little bit less than they expected. Good thing they told me it would take longer and wound up delivering even sooner. So we'll see how this box opens here. I've never opened one of these before, so we're doing it together. It looks like there's a little piece of tape there for me to just pull off, pull down, and we'll be at the MacBook. Here goes nothing. Ooh, ooh, it pulls off like a little piece of plastic wrap. Look at that. Wow. Very clean. I like how they've set up the opening. Ooh. The moment is becoming more real. I can see the machine. Not the machine itself, but the box. Kind of how the top comes off. The so my camera's been having some technical difficulties. But once I opened up the machine, the Apple logo began booting up. I saw this piece of paper that was screen protecting my computer. I removed that. Now I will go through the setup features and get my machine fully ready to share amazing adventures with you. I'm so excited for it all. Thank you so much for being a part of this adventure with me today and all of the adventures. I got this laptop so that I can share some better adventures with you, some beautifully edited adventures. And so I'm so excited to make that happen. I was a bit worried about the screen size, but after looking at it, I do feel it's pretty good size. I should be able to do all the work I need to do. Sure, it's a little bit on the smaller side, but it is plenty of space to be able to see what I need to see and it'll allow me to take it on the go more easily. So I'm just getting started with my MacBook and I do have some bad news. As I try to adjust, for example, this audio bit or try to do other editing in the project, like clipping scenes, it keeps completely freezing for me. So if I try to play this, you'll see right now, I'm frozen, got that loading screen right there and can't really do anything. I was really just trying to get started with this project just started my evening here, really my first night using it, and it just does not load. You can see how long it's taking here for me to get absolutely anything, and I want to make sure that I'm sharing the best possible adventures with you, and also able to process them as efficiently as possible, right? It gives me more time to do better editing, to be able to create better work for you, but the truth of the matter is I can't really even seem to easily edit the timeline here, so not sure if this is going to play out for us or if we're going to end up switching to maybe a Windows laptop. I do want a laptop pretty soon, so I might look up into making that change soon. But unfortunately, this is not working out the way 
that I was hoping you can see still loading while I've been saying this whole thing here with you. Again, have not gotten that far. This is the beginning of the video. Now I have moved a couple of different clips, a couple of different scenes to the very end of the video just as bloopers that I edited kind of out of the beginning because I did make a lot of mistakes in this video. But again, still nothing here as we rotate with that clock. Haven't even clipped yet. No, all I did was I moved the mouse. I think maybe I pressed the play button and it just does not want to go. So I don't know what, what happened here, but maybe this is just too much for the thing to handle. I'm not sure. It's, it, it is 53. Oh, here we go. You can see now it's rolling, but uh, same problem. So here's the same problem. I'm going to pause there. I'm going to grab my little snippy snip. I'm going to go ahead and snip right on the line there. It's not yet to me, so it's still loading before I can even click the snip button. And you get the idea. I'm, I'm running into a lot of issues with just the computer's not running fast enough. And I was really hopeful this wouldn't be an issue with the, the heavy-duty processor that I got. Um, but it does seem to be causing me problems. So we'll see what happens here. Just wanted to give you that behind-the-scenes look of exactly what's going on in my editing process. Uh, again, not thrilled, not hopeful on this. But I'll maybe touch base with Mike and see if he has any insights on how to use a Mac a little bit better than I do. So after a few editing tricks changing how we import that video software, sped the computer up about 90%, but there were still some big lag times, and then gave the computer a software update or a system update, now seems to be working okay. So I'm gonna continue working on the MacBook Pro and seeing how it works for me. I'm still a little bit concerned with that lag time I was experiencing earlier just because I didn't update the machine, but we'll see if it ends up being worthwhile. A final bit of information on that MacBook Pro. I've tested it for a couple of days and I'm running into a good chunk of issues. I think a big piece of that is because it doesn't have a graphics card. The 13 inch MacBook Pro comes with integrated graphics, so it does not have its own freestanding graphics card. You'd need to get the 16 inch MacBook Pro in order to be able to have a graphics card, which would make video editing and other photo type functions a lot easier. That being said, the MacBook Pro 16 inch is about $3,000, so. I've ordered myself a Lenovo Legion 5. It's a Windows with a graphics card and a lot of good specs on it. And I'm gonna give that a shot and see how it comes out for me. Hopefully I'll be able to edit on the go with that machine. It's about half the price of the MacBook Pro 13 inch. So we'll see what happens. Thanks again for being a part of the adventures with me today. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed of future adventures. And until next time, play on. That's right, I'm buying a brand new... I'll show you the exact model I'm buying, the attachments I'm hoping to add on to it. In addition. So the MacBook Pro will allow me to use new editing software. What is that on my desk? It's a GoPro, it's a GoPro. I feel that this 2.0 gigahertz quad-core processor would be beneficial for me as an investment, as opposed to this two point... The no year... The no buy year is about... Here it is, the third... Good thing they kind of overshot and then... Under-delivered? No. <laughs> they... So my camera's been having some technical difficulties, but once I opened up 